Alrighty, happy Friday. Today's full weather forecast is brought to you by Healing Hands Massage in Hamden, providing professional massage services tailored specifically for their clients. Stop by Healing Hands Massage today. You'll thank yourself later. Alrighty, we had some advisories that were issued earlier this morning. This is a dense fog advisory that was issued. It expired at 9 a.m., so we're done with that advisory, though. This gale watches up until Sunday morning at around 2 a.m. along the coast because active surf will be expected. Now, on top of that, though, there's also a small Crowd advisory that's in effect more recently, though. So this will be in effect today to parts of tomorrow morning, and then the gale alerts will be in to take over after that. So the wave fights are increasing now at around two to four feet, but this lighter color here indicating some higher surf uh, according to the graphics. So again, kind of be careful. They're going to be closer toward the coastline. Again, the wave fights will be a little bit active and getting active as we move forward. Here's what the fog looked like earlier this morning, though, reducing visibilities in the southwestern parts of the state to practically a half mile or less. So that's why those dense fog advisories were issued. The rest of us have been looking pretty good and will stay nice as we head towards the afternoon period. We'll just have to watch the clouds moving in from the west and going toward the east. So increasing clouds, a common idea. In fact, we'll also call it a mixture of clouds and sunshine today. But we're watching this system here, a large cold front here across a good part of the country here that's sending some precipitation off toward the east and we'll have our turn for a little bit of rain showers as we do move forward. So let's break all this down with future casts. Mixture of clouds and sunshine will be common today. Later on tonight, the rain showers start to approach from the north and west and going toward the south and east. A lot of us will see it after midnight. Some rain showers get going by Saturday morning. Notice we have a little bit of a switch over to snow with the cooler temperatures there. A little bit of snow shower action cannot be ruled out in a few spots Saturday morning. But notice as we head towards Saturday afternoon, a lot of this starts to taper off and the clouds get out of here. It will be looking pretty nice as we head towards Saturday evening. And of course, by Sunday, we're looking pretty good as well. Maybe a little bit of a wave off to the west that we'll have to watch out for. Otherwise, though, the rainfall chances look a little bit like this. Maybe up to an inch or so before we're all finished up. This is down from yesterday, but still a few areas could see up to an inch before we're all finished up. Gusty winds maybe up to 25 to 30 miles per hour this afternoon. We'll back things off for a little while later on tonight, but still remaining rather gusty nonetheless, so in some areas. But really by tomorrow, that's why we'll have to watch for maybe a few more gusts up to 25 to 30 miles per hour in a few spots. So that forecast coming up for today, though, upper 50s, mostly cloudy and breezy. And that south wind getting up to around 25 miles per hour at times. Upper 40s tonight, mostly cloudy, some rain showers on the way. And that south wind getting up to around 25 miles per hour. Tomorrow, lower 50s, rain and a few snow showers hours are possible. Decreasing clouds late. West wind getting up to around 25 miles per hour. Healing hands massage extended forecast. Here we go. Party cloudy on Sunday with highs in the mid 40s. Upper 30s Monday we cool off a bit with a mostly sunny sky and party cloudy Tuesday highs in the upper 30s.